Galnet News Update, 22nd of October, 3307. Orion University has turned up at the Scrivener Clan Dredger, but a number of commanders have pledged to defend the clan from attempts to evict them. OU claims to have recently discovered that the 217-year-old dredger belongs to them. Despite having done absolutely nothing in the last two centuries to recover their property, they now say they are ready to kick out the clan who've been maintaining the ship for all that time and have dispatched their megaship Scientia Eterna to do the dirty work. The Orion University megaship is within firing distance of the dredger, which means that its no-fire zone completely encompasses the dredger. They've apparently disabled the dredger's hyperdrives using override keys found in the university archive. In response, the Scrivener clan has sealed the airlocks and electrified the hull, creating the conditions for a siege that could go on for years. A number of commanders have joined the Defend the Dredger movement to keep the dead hand of science away from the Scrivener clan and their precious knowledge core, which many believe to be the university's real reason for its sudden interest in retaking the Dredger. The two megaships are in the Uchost PC-C C29-0 system. It's not clear how long the standoff will continue or what level of force Orion University's enforcers are willing to use. Meanwhile, repairs are well underway at Nova Imperium's headquarters in Dyson City in Parisa and expected to be complete within a week. And steady progress fulfilling Torval Mining's appeal for mining equipment makes it likely that there will be a good supply of long-range engineered Class 1D mining lasers as rewards. <laughs> 